Boobs did what? Want to say hi? <laughs> You're going to go play with your Play-Doh? Okay. All right, welcome to Teal House Farm. I'm sitting on the floor today because I have been working on packing for a big trip we're taking to visit Grammy and Grandpa Dan, and then Annie, there's a special camp out where they live for kids um, with the same diagnosis as Annie. It's going to be really good for her. She'll meet other kids just like her, and she'll get to work with some of the best therapists in the field. So we're taking, we're, we're making a, we're making a therapy thing into a vacation thing for some of us, right? Yeah. Not everybody gets to come. Mommy can't do six kids on a plane. Yeah. But it's a little bit of an organization here trying to get everything packed. And for the kids, and then Sam will have the little guys at home some days, but some days he has to work. So I have like this babysitter rotation and trying to make sure there's lots of instructions and everything they need for those days packed separately. So it's really easy for him to grab and go. So I've been working on that. All that to say that while I was working on that, I realized I needed to change out my clothes. Because if you have been watching the last few weeks and wondering what the heck's been going on as my stomach has gotten bigger and bigger we are in fact expecting one more little one it's a oh sorry <laughs> they don't know yet we're gonna show the I'm sorry. <laughs> we will show you the gender reveal video which we did a couple days ago we will show it in just a minute so if you're here for that <clears throat> Uh, a little bit unexpected, we decided that we were going to wait for Sam to get through school, start his new job, get settled in, and decide whether or not we wanted to have more children. But uh, God had different plans here, so we're having uh, another baby around Christmas time, uh, and everything's going really well. But it took me forever to be able to make an announcement because I wanted to, you know, do my first ultrasound, have my first provider visit first to make sure everything looked okay before we made an announcement. And our doctor was... Just she was booked and then she was also taking a vacation and so I couldn't get in to see her for my first appointment till I was already like 11 weeks pregnant and having already had six children your belly doesn't hold anything in so like by week five I already looked super pregnant <laughs> and been been like a one of those TV actresses where they try to put a clipboard in front of you or a bunch of lettuce in front of you so people can't notice trying to hide my stomach on all these vlogs which I don't think I've done very successfully so if you've been watching and you've already figured it out congratulations there's the official announcement. I'm about 12 weeks right now and everything's going really well. Patty, what? Patty, Patty put that back. You got coffee. You don't need that pet pet. <laughs> put that back. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to switch out my clothes before our trip. So I just pulled this out of the basement. It's all my maternity clothes because my pants can no longer contain what is happening Patty. to my stomach. Can yes, JJ. Wait, what? <laughs> It's a rainbow Here, here. Ivy's got smaller fingers. She'll do better. Okay, keep talking. Um, let me see if there's anything else I wanted to say. I think that's all. But we did do a fun gender reveal. So since I am now considered a geriatric pregnancy, because I'm a bit on the old side, uh, they recommend that you do a blood test to check for markers for things like Down syndrome. You don't have to do it. Uh, but already having a child with special needs, I realized the importance of being proactive and being, you know, being able to have things prepared and set up and so I decided I wanted to do that blood test because if there was something going on I would want to know and be able to be as prepared as possible with things lined up when the baby came um, and part of that genetic test since it's going to test all the chromosomes is it's going to tell you whether it's a girl or a boy so it's kind of an added bonus um, so the genetic test everything came back just fine and uh, but we do know if it's a girl or a boy so two days ago we did a gender reveal for the kids and I'm going to link that video here they had a lot of fun so you guys get to see real early whether or not baby number seven is a girl or a boy and if you're keeping tally we have five girls <laughs> and one boy here at teal house farm okay ivy's gonna help me prep the gender reveal but she's not gonna be able to do the end step because she can't know what the answer is yeah. but she's gonna help me get ready yeah. so we are going to make egg bombs that we are going to smash on mica so what we're gonna do is take the yolk and stuff out of the egg and we'll put them in this jar so we can have scrambled eggs in the morning you're not going to waste anything and we are going to fill this little hole in the egg with a color of paint that says whether it's a boy or a girl and then we'll tape it closed with just a little bit of duct tape just so it doesn't leak out and then they will smash those eggs on mica and that will tell us what we're doing step one you take the we're going to take the wider end of the egg and we're just going to 
trap so we get a little hole. A little? So I got a little, we don't want to crack the egg. Well, what if I do? Then we'll have to start over. <laughs> we need a big enough hole. I can't see what you're doing. Just tap it. <laughs> Just tap it. Oh, okay. Oh got a decent size hole Can there. Can I like get the little stuff out of it? With the, okay. Are we going to use like nails in? It's okay if you get a little bit of shell. We can fish it out later. Okay. 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 So um, we got a, we got a hole and we're going to get our jar. Are we going to like suck it out? We're going to kind of shake it out. Yeah, but you can't get the yolk out. I got it. Um, I think we'll be able to do it. Unless you like We're going right. to kind of scramble the yolk so that it'll come out. Okay, now I'm gonna fill said eggs with paint and then I'm going to tape the tops shut with some duct tape so I can't see what color's in there. And you don't get to watch this part because uh, then you'll know before they know. Okay, they're ready. First, we're gonna take guesses. If you think it's a girl, stand by the truck. If you think it's a boy, stand by the red car. I don't know, I think white for, for people. So, boy or girl? Okay, we've got three boys, four boys. What do you think, Goobs? Oh, Patty says boy. Boy or girl, Goobs? What do you think? Six. Six. Okay. Daddy already knows, so he can't guess. All right. So we're gonna do it. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you an egg, and you have to smash it on the plastic bag on Mikey. Okay. Patty, come here. We're gonna smash. Come smash. <laughs> okay. You want to smash? Hold the egg behind your back. Don't peek. I'm not Here he comes. Okay. okay. On your mark, you have to smash it on the bag on Mikey, okay? On your mark. Where are you going to smash it? On the bag. Okay. Set. Go. go. It's a ball. I didn't smash it. Smash her. Smash her. It's a girl, Did Patty. You get it, Pat? Put it on the ground, Pat. My it's mom okay. was it's right it. before. Get her. Today mine was is purple. You guys have terrible aim. Mom, mine is purple. I know. What does that mean? Purple. Boy. Ivy, you were no. the third gender in a row. Mommy, my baby. I don't think it's going to work. Hand me that angle. Smash it on. Wait, this I didn't get smashed. Okay, stop throwing it. You can just stomp on him. Just stomp on him. <laughs> okay, that's enough. No more, okay. no more throwing them. No more throwing them. Alright. It's a girl. Yay! Sorry, Patty. Sorry, Patty. Sorry, Daddy. <laughs> Poor little guy. Poor little guy. He's gonna make a surrounded, great husband one day. On both sides. He's gonna be the most patient man ever born. Something like that. Go. 